away. Well, within this 20 years, it will also be able to further develop its transportation facilities, expand and develop its financial institutions, as well as its power supply. At the end, if Eritrea uses agriculture, it will, for the next 15 to 20 years, it will be potentially capable of industrial development. But now, as it is, it's best if Eritrea uses agriculture. Thank you, that's all I have to do. nice presentation okay while presenting here in order to present you have studied everything about agriculture uh, I don't think it's appropriate to say everything because there are billions of, and trillions of information about Eritrea maybe I can say I've just scratched the surface you think I'm a question probably here we are to debate having the topic that agriculture or industries are better than Agriculture, you are saying that agriculture is better than industries in developing Eritrea as a nation. Yes. So that you are, talking, you are also talking about economy. Of course. So that if you are saying that, did you know anything about the GDP or gross domestic product of our country through industries in this time, 2019, and what is going to be next uh, years up to 2022? Okay. Um, Yes, I have to speak about the economy because when you're talking about a country's development, you need to talk about the economy. Now, I cannot say that I've studied everything about Eritrea and agriculture in Eritrea and industries in Eritrea. Do you, do you have the uh, concept of my presentation? No, you are totally confused. I'm saying that related to economics, you have to be studied about the gross domestic products of Eritrea in agriculture, in your topic. What is the gross domestic product in billion dollars at this time and what's going to be to the next years up to 2022? Okay, so what's, what's your question? You, can you tell me the gross domestic product in billion dollars? In billion dollars? Yes. Oh, at, can you tell me? So that how can you say that you are studying about economy? Oh you say in the GDP. Okay, people, let me tell you. No. Yes. Let me answer. Listen, I'm not talking about whether uh, it's going good now or it's not going good. How we're talking? Wait a minute. We're debating. Wait a minute. Can I can I speak? Can I speak? Uh, we're talking about the development of Eritrea, yes. right? At this moment, because we cannot predict the future. We are not future tellers. And so what I can do is study all around me. Can I finish? I'm saying, okay, don't leave the future. At this time, what is the gross domestic product? You say you didn't know. Did you know or did not? Now, at this time, the gross domestic product through industries is... Okay. Okay. You say that agriculture is... In other meanings, you are saying that agriculture is a backbone of Eritrean economical development. Of course. Of every yes or not? Okay, we are talking about Eritrea, not other nations. Okay, in our country. So that, for instance, for example, people living in Antarctica or polar regions. You're obviously going to say that there are not people living in Antarctica, but at least there are scientists living there. So that if agriculture is the backbone of every country's economical development, how they can grow how, or how they can use those agricultures in those polar regions? Just give me a short answer about this. Okay. Different crops require different temperatures, okay? There may be some crops that can grow there, maybe some cannot grow there. Okay? These are extreme temperatures. How can you compare that with Eritrea? So how <laughs> yes, it's not Eritrea. I'm talking generally. You are talking about agriculture. You said everything about agriculture. And this is related to agriculture. Okay, in Eritrea, for instance, if there were polar regions, can you grow everything in polar regions? You're going to say we're gonna, they're going to export it, right or no? Can I, can I do this? Okay. Yes. Uh, is it correct of me to compare Eritrea with America? Yes. We're talking no. Yes. Me to compare Eritrea yes. with America as a developed country. Notice that their tactics may not be useful. Okay, let me answer for you. You're saying that we can compare Eritrea with America. 
but we are talking economical development not we are not comparing so that i need just the answer can we grow that crops in those extreme cold conditions or not let me answer let me answer Good morning, respectful judges, teachers, as well as friends. I am Sana Samara, representing Samata Secondary School. I would like to send out my gratitude from the deepest part of my heart that you let me adduce you on wonderful ideas on how those industries are better than agriculture in developing our country as a nation. Friends, I strongly believe that Eritrea can be one of the global competitors through industrial development, not agri agricultural. Let us analyze. As we all know, Eritrea is a young nation with 28 years of background of self-independence. Uh, after independence, the years between 1997 and 1998, our country was called Singapore of Northeast Africa. And this was because fast-growing economy due to industries and seaports. But because of unfortunate war, sanctions, and embargo by the Security Council to more than 16 up to 17 years, our country got crippled. Friends, our country has a condensive atmosphere for industrial development. And this was proved before independence and after independence. To some extent, such as the car manufacturing industries, textiles, detergent manufacturing industries, uh, plastic manufacturing industries, and many, many more. And you know, we Eritreans have proved that we are hardworking human beings. In spite of sanctions, few industries were running, such as the soil industries, the plastic manufacturing industries, and as we all know, the Bisham minings. I heard my friends speaking that agriculture is the backbone of Eritrean economical development. But you know, I strongly condemn this. You see agriculture as a natural phenomenon of growing since the ancient times in Eritrea. But this doesn't mean we depend 100% on agriculture to our economy. If that was the case, during sanctions, we would have made a good progress in agricultural development, as those sanctions were not on agricultural goods. And by this time, we will have been self-sufficient of grains. We are not. And when our neighboring countries' borders got open, we should see the price differences, how the goods, the grains imported into our country, and the prices gone cheaper. So that this shows clearly that agriculture cannot be the backbone of Eritrean economical development. Rather, it will break the bones of Eritrean economical development. Come on, people. We just have natural rivers. We depend on monsoon rivers to harvest or cultivate. Rather, we have more minerals and natural resources such as copper, zinc, uh, our seaports, potash gas, and many, many more. Why? We are not capable of all those things. If we depend on, on, if we depend on agriculture, it will be only hand-to-mouth surviving. So that, how can we say that is the backbone of Eritrean economical development? People, we are in the 21st century. Even the smallest of the smallest country want to compete in this global market. For instance, let's, ask, let's see the Middle East countries. 50 years ago, they were deserts and the people were nomads. But now, they are one of the fast growing economy because of their oil industries and other sectors. People, how dare we say that agriculture is a backbone of our economy? Should we not our, allow our people to get in the world competition? Yes. Should we not allow our people to get employed or have opportunity at a vast scale? Should we not avoid this bloody hell brain drain taking place in our country? Yes. What about the GDP? Should we think about the gross domestic product in our country? 
It's not the right time to bring back the glory of 1918s, but it's the right time to use those industries and get developed. At this time, sanctions are being lifted, war with neighbors is over, relationships with other countries is improving. We need to concentrate more on industries and by allowing and providing private sectors and direct foreign investments into other fields such as mining sectors, construction, pharmaceutical, education, technological development, and many, many more. Why? And we have a lot of Eritreans abroad who are rich, and they can, they can invest Eritrea in industrial development, and they can also play a key role in our economy. People, try just to imagine how comfort that we're going to have in our lives, the motivation and the facility that we're going to have, the time and labor that we're going to save, the efficient production that we're going to get from those industries. Secondly, employment. At time, our citizens will get employed because those industries are going to save time and labor. And by employing uh, our citizens by those industries, people can have standard living and improved quality of life, which avoids brain drain in our countries. So that this shows clearly that industries are the backbone of a return economical development. As conclusion, with a healthy environment, those industries can provide and they can change human lives and they can change also our country. I'm so pleased that you listen to me and respect me in that way. If you have any question, comment, it's completely accepted. But if not, thank you for giving me the chance. I really loved your presentation, but unfortunately, I do not agree. Now, one question I have for you is that you mentioned, you mentioned that Eritrea has to build its industry in order to compete in the international market. Am I right? Yeah, okay. So, does Eritrea have the resources to do so? I mean, does Eritrea have the uh, skilled manpower that it needs to develop this interest, this industries, the electric supply, um, transportation facilities to provide for this industry? This means you are saying we doesn't have natural resources or other things. Definitely, we have. We have natural resources. How do we say that we can have? And how do you say that communication we doesn't have? I'm not saying we don't totally have nothing, but it's not adequate to provide industries. We, need, we don't need the simple industries. We need strong and developed industries in order to compete with the developed countries of today. And we do not have that. You come to my point. We need industries, but yes. We have industry. We need industries for the economical development of our country. How dare we saying that your topic is agriculture? And what I mean, what do you mean? Like you don't have efficient natural resources or other things. You're saying that is why we need to develop industries. How can we develop industries when we don't have that resource? We have resources, enough and efficient resources. I'm saying that, dear people, I have presented to you that we have enough resources to produce industries. We have few industries running at this time. Let me finish it. Your question. You are asking, or you are trying to, pre to represent something to me. Let me finish your question. First, we have enough everything. But I'm saying that we need industries. I'm, saying, I'm not saying that we don't have industries. We have industries, but we need more industries in order to get developed economically. That's my answer. Okay, so wait a minute. If that's the case, then why isn't the government trying to do so? I mean, we all listen in the news. The government is trying to strengthen the agricultural sector. He's trying to teach more people about agriculture. If that was the case, why aren't we developing our industries and why aren't our industries that developed? Okay. You're saying that we need, you're saying that the government is more interested in those agriculture. That's your topic. Yes, we have agriculture. Those agriculture are going to have industries. I'm saying that we don't have agriculture. We have base, but I'm saying that we need more industries. And in order to have industries, those governments are interested in those agriculture sectors. So we're not yet having industries is what you're saying. Am I right? We don't have yet industries. No, 
we're still focusing on agriculture. Yeah. Now, well, that's what I'm saying. First, you tell me. We have industries. And I'm saying that we need to in be interested more in those industries, not in that agriculture sector. We have both industries and agriculture, but we need to concentrate more on those industries in order to get development. Why? We are not focusing on industry? You are saying that? We are not focusing on industry? We don't have industries? That's you are saying? I mean, they have exhausted the three minutes in one question. So the judge, the judge has said time is up, so well, it is terminated. It is terminated.